welcome back everybody, it's easy. So today, we're taking a little break from our series, uh, the, the intro to Clash, to bring you a, some pretty cool attacks. Uh, got Kyle in the clan, in our feeder clan. Uh, apparently he's got a little extra time, so he's actually uh, able to spend some time in the clan with us. And uh, he put, put up a couple of really good attacks that he's been doing. He's been, ever since the update, he's been using the uh, Lunian attack and... At Town Hall, he's a max Town Hall 11, and he's using 36 balloons, uh, 26 minions, and you'll see for yourself what he's doing. He just kills with it. Uh, everything he does turns to gold. I, I want him to touch my wallet, I think. Um, <laughs> anyway, you, you can see the way he, do he does these attacks. These are not... Um, these are not the super surgical attacks. He comes in from several different areas. Um... But, it, this is mainly a smash and grab type of attack. And, uh, really what you have to pay close attention to is where are the air defenses and uh, where are the wizard towers and be very careful with your spell placement and at, at Town Hall 11, you have to make sure the warden gets into the base before the balloons get to the core. That way, that way if, the, if the infernal towers or the eagle artillery is starting to tee off on the balloons, you can use the you can use the warden's ability to, to help push them through the core. Uh, you can see these are fast attacks. I think both of these both of these raids he does are under two minutes, and um, this the solid raids. And this shows you how good the balloons are right now. Uh, at, at Town Hall 11, to be able to go through at another Town Hall 11, I know I think the first one he found was a dead base. Which, you know, there's no shame in that. If you if you can find... Uh, there was, it was also worth... I, I think he said that he got 2 million for it after the bonus that he got to. So, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna take it. It doesn't matter if it's a dead base. It, this is not a pride thing. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're out there trying to hit, hit up for resources, so... Find the dead bases. They're, they, they are out there. And, um... I've had people ask me, well, uh, do we see a lot of these dead bases because a lot of people are quitting playing? That's not the way it works, people. Now, th this is the way it works. If I don't get on my account for, I think, 36 hours, maybe 48 hours, within that time, my 16-hour shield will run out two or three times. And I think by the third time your shield runs out, your Inferno Towers run out. So, you know, it doesn't take long. For you to be absent from your base for your base to look like a dead base meanwhile you have max collectors pumping the whole time and you have just tons and tons of loot for people to come and grab and you don't have your infernal towers now on on your side of it it's not really terrible or terribly tragic for you because it's really not the not the storages that they're hitting it's really the the collectors that they're getting all the money from so it's, it's, it's really uh, it's a benefit for the attacker and it's not too much of a hindrance on the defender so uh, Don't stress too much if you're gonna be busy and you're not gonna be able to hit, to get on your base for, for two days uh, You know don't bring don't bring <laughs> You don't you don't have to play um, at, at the wedding rehearsal. You can actually give it a break for 24 hours um, I Don't but you can so to get back in the attack real quick, the best thing to do with these attacks is don't overload your spells with things like a jump spell to get the heroes into the base or freeze spells. What you really want to do is you want to bring as many haste spells as, as you can, probably 5 or 6. If you're a Town Hall 10 or 11, I would bring a minimum of 5 haste spells and bring a couple of rage spells. And you're just going to basically rage and haste your way through these bases. Uh, use the haste spells if you get caught up by uh, b by a sweeper, because the haste spells, especially if you get caught up by a sweeper, that that's your one of your that's the biggest nightmare. You get you're right in the full stream of a sweeper, but what you can do is you can put a double haste down. You put one down right in front of each other, and it does have a small delay in between puffs, and that double haste will actually push you right on through it to or usually right on top of it. So. Bring the haste spells, bring the rage spells, leave the freeze and leave the jumps at home. Um, awesome attack, Kyle. Uh, he, we're going to have some more of these. We're going to try to do a few more of these in the next couple days in the middle of uh, doing the other series. So uh, come, come back tomorrow. We're going to have a couple more good attacks for you. Till then, this has been easy. Take care, everyone. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. If I have 
a total net worth, and now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability, a net worth. I'm not doing that to brag, because you know what? I don't have to brag. I don't have to, believe it or not. I'm, 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 I'm really, 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 really,